Hello, I'm Alison McMillan, Chief Nursing and Midwifery Officer at the Commonwealth Department of Health and Aged Care. Parents and carers have lots of questions about the childhood immunisation schedule, and we've pulled together some of the top questions to answer. So here we go. Vaccinations on the childhood immunisation schedule have been carefully researched to give the best possible protection against serious illnesses for children. The schedule is carefully planned around the most common childhood illnesses, the severity of the disease at different ages, how many vaccine doses are required to provide the very best protection. Some diseases are much more severe when babies get them, so we vaccinate early. In the schedule, we know that some of the vaccines don't work as well if the babies get them too young, so we give them when they're a little older. Babies are at the greatest risk of disease while they're very young. Babies are more likely to catch vaccine-preventable diseases. And if they do catch the disease, they are more likely to get seriously ill or die. So the timing of each vaccine dose given to babies and to children is carefully chosen based on decades of research. The first dose of a vaccine is recommended for the youngest age that the baby's immune system is mature enough to give a good response and so best protection. So it's important to follow the National Immunisation Programme schedule for all vaccinations. When vaccines are delayed, spaced out or missed, children are unprotected for longer than they need to be at an age when the disease is often more common and more serious. Some vaccines are only available in combinations and can't be separated out or spaced out. These combination vaccines have been thoroughly tested and proven to be safe and effective. Spacing out vaccines also means that your child is likely to need more vaccination appointments and more injections. And this can mean more stress for you and your child. Diseases like measles or polio are no longer common in Australia because of vaccination. But we should still vaccinate against these diseases because these diseases still exist elsewhere and people traveling overseas can carry diseases back to Australia. And for these diseases to remain uncommon in Australia, most of the population needs to be immune to stop them from spreading. So again, vaccination is the best way to protect your family from these diseases and from serious illness. The schedule is different in other countries because the patterns of diseases, strains of viruses, bacteria, the medical care and the availability of vaccines and their costs vary from country to country. Health experts and health economists consider all available information about children and their diseases and decide which vaccine should be given to children in their countries and at what age. In Australia, health experts and health economists from a variety of independent advisory groups decide which vaccines should be provided to children living in Australia. So if you still have more questions or would like to know more about particular diseases, then the National Immunisation Programme covers this. So go to health.gov.au forward slash immunisation. Children and adolescents who missed recommended routine National Immunisation Programme vaccinations can get catch-up vaccinations for free up until they're 20 years old. The catch-up schedule needs to start before their 20th birthday and may be completed beyond this date. The number and range of vaccines and doses that are provided for free is different for people aged less than 10 years and those aged 10 to 19 years. Talk to your health professional if your child hasn't had all the recommended vaccinations and they will check the National Immunisation Programme schedule and recommend catch-up vaccinations based on your child's age, vaccination history and their personal medical history too. 